Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. In this video, I will review a new feature that became available in October 2018 release of Dynamics 365 for financing operations. This release is also known as Application 8.1 with Platform 20. The feature is described as follows. Uh, we can enable vendor or customer approvals for specific fields. Enable approval of customer or vendor when specific fields are edited. You will be able to select from a list of fields that can be approved. Once the field is edited, you can submit the changes to workflow. When changes are approved, they will be applied to a customer or a vendor record. Now let's take a look how we can set up this approval process for a few key customer fields. The first thing I will have to do is navigate to Accounts Receivable Parameters, scroll under General tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, and make sure that Enable Customer Approval checkbox is turned on. The next step, I have to review the, the list of 16 fields that are available to me to control with Approval Workflow. And in this case, I en enabled tracking of credit limit changes and terms of payment. On the vendor side, you can do exact same thing under accounts payable parameters and you have 12 fields to choose from. Once we enable approval workflow, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and edit a customer. I will select customer 10 Sunset Wholesales. I will make sure I'm going to in edit mode. And in here, I will scroll down and see that the credit limit is currently set to 400,000. Right away, you can see that it has brackets, which says requires approval. The same thing is true for terms of payment requires approval. So let's say we want to increase that limit from 400 to 500. All right, as soon as, soon as you navigate from that field, you will see that this change is recorded in a proposed change log. I'm going to close it for now because I want to also change terms, terms of payment. And let's say I would like to change them from net 45 to net 30. Right away, you see that my log is being updated. So this log only tracks the fields that I enable for uh, change tracking. If I would like to proceed with submitting these changes to workflow approval, I can close this form. If I would like to remove certain changes that I've made, you can just click on discard for a specific record or click on discard to discard all changes. All right, so I'm happy with the changes that I've made. I'm changing the credit limit from, from 400 to 500 and I'm changing terms of payment from net 45 to net 30. I will close that form and now I will go and submit these changes for approval. I will click on workflow button on the top here and click submit. I can optionally provide comments or just click on submit button right away. So now my request is being processed by workflow. So the question that you may have is which workflow is used to actually process these requests. And that is actually done under accounts receivable workflows. You can see here I have created a new workflow version called Proposed Customer Change Workflow. It's a fairly typical setup. If I will open an editor here, I have one single step here. If I go to the level down on it, it just basically requires one approver. In this case, it is submitted to me as the user here, but this is a standard Dynamics 365 uh, workflow uh, framework. So there are no changes here. The only difference is that we do have a new type of workflow that we can enable to facilitate this type of request. Now, when I give it some time to process my request, I can select the customer for which the changes were requested. And if I click on the workflow button, I see that I have as an approver multiple options, approve, reject, or delegate this request. If before approving or making any decision, of course, I would like to review the changes that were requested. And I can easily do that on, by clicking on that proposed change button in the top left corner here and it will show me all requested changes. So I'm fine with changing the credit limit and I'm fine with changing uh, terms of payment. As you can see, I cannot pick and choose which, which changes I would like to be uh, applied and which I would like to discard. So that's something that maybe can be addressed in the future releases. But in this case, I see a list of changes that were requested by the user and I can either take it all or reject it all. And let's say in this case, I'm, I'm happy with these changes. So what I will do is we're gonna click on workflow and click on approve. 
I can provide comments optionally or just click on the plus button. And then again, I have to let my uh, workflow to be processed to see those changes on my customer record. Now, when I open my customer record and scroll to my credit limit section here, I see that my credit limit has been increased from four to 500, as well as my payment terms have changed from net 45 to net 30. So I can see those changes reflected on my customer record after I have approved those changes. There's another functionality that was added as a part of this uh, solution that is called submit proposed customer changes. So instead of me manually making the changes and then manually clicking on submit button for each customer I would like to change certain fields for, I can just make those changes on the customer record either manually or through data migration framework, for example, and then I can submit all of those proposed changes to a workflow for review. There's this uh, periodic job that is called submit proposed customer changes that can be used for this purpose. This periodic job allows you to do that and you can either run this job for all the customer by leaving that filter criteria blank or run it for a specific customer group or customer accounts instead. And in conclusion, I would like to review another setting that is available under accounts receivable parameters, and that is called data entity behavior. And in this drop down list, I have three options, allow changes without approval, reject changes and create change proposals. I was able to test with all three settings and I get the same result in which I had to go and manually approve every change through a workflow. So I'm not really sure what the purpose of this setting is. My, my assumption is it, it may be used when you update customer records or vendor records through data management workspace using uh, data entities and that define the behavior of uh, these uh, imports, whether or not they are subject to an approval process or they have to be approved automatically or have to be reju rejected automatically. I'm not really sure what the intent is, so I would be curious to hear from you guys if you know what the setting is used for. That is all for now. Hope you found that video interesting. Until the next time.